something was happening, something else was happening. You have no idea who it could be. The San Diego couple is still living in fear after suffering a year of cruel harassment from a jealous home bidder who allegedly plotted to have the wife raped by a stranger. Someone's trying to rape my wife. Yes, aftermath is based on a true story. A title card claims that true crime events inspire the story, and if you have seen enough movies, you may know that such claims are often exaggerated. It's scary. It has to have a home office. But further probing suggests that there may be some truth in the story after all. Peter Winther directed the film from a screenplay penned by actress, director, and screenwriter Dakota Gorman. However, Gorman essays the script from a story ideated by Winther himself. According to Gorman, she often takes inspiration from real-life occurrences, personal accounts, and experiences for writing. I would kind of think about, like, the escape route. She suggested that her creativity stems from whatever she imbibes from life, and the more she imbibes, the more she can generate. And in this case, Gorman and Winther were ostensibly inspired by a real-life incident, if not multiple incidents. The story of a couple allured into a crime scene house by a great bargain may have some truth in it. But an invisible assailant hiding under the same rooftop sounds a bit too far-fetched. Well, fiction often mirrors reality, and you may be astonished to know that there is more truth to the story than one may imagine. A real-life couple Jerry Rice and Janice Rutter had to go through events similar to the movie. As per ABC News, a series of sinister events befell the unassuming couple as they moved into a new property. <laughs> a home is a big deal. To purchase a home is a huge deal. In 2011, they moved into a dreamy property in a suburban San Diego neighborhood and shortly after, received an intimidating note by people offering to buy the property from them. The situation turned creepier with their new house mysteriously getting re-enlisted for sale on a real estate website. It's, it's my name and my address, but I personally didn't order it. It's a Kevin, mistake. Kevin, Keith. Okay. Like the movie, the couple was bombarded by magazines they did not even subscribe to. After the series of pranks got out of control, Jerry planted CCTV cameras across the house premise. Reality further presupposed fiction when someone posted a stomach-churning online ad making Janice seem like an adult entertainer. Very. We were very suspicious of everyone. Men responded to the ad, and there was even a rape <laughs> attempt. Although they ultimately caught the perpetrator, the episode left a lasting scar in the couple's minds. The news piece seemingly inspired the director and the screenwriter. Although they took some creative license to add more drama into the narrative, the story's skeleton remains closely tethered to the true crime incident. Therefore, we can certainly conclude that the story rests on quite solid grounds. Peter.